Hey everyone, my name is Sophie from Sophisticated Organization. Welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're new here. Today we're gonna to be talking about all things baby organization as I have my baby Owen here just staring at you saying hi. We're gonna go through some of my top organizing tips, some things that I found to be really helpful both on the go with baby as well as nursery organization, organization throughout the house, how I organize some of my breast milk. So really covering all things baby. So if you're ready for it, let's jump right into the video. Let's start by talking about on the go with baby. And when you think about being on the go, the first thing at least I think of is the diaper bag. And I've done a full diaper bag video already, which I will link in the cards above as well as in the description box. But I wanted to share a couple of things that keep me extra organized that I think are very important for us. The first is these little zipper pouches. I have a few of them in here. This one says baby things. So it's a couple of toys, travel, gripe water, water and boogie wipes. I have one that's for his clean clothing and fur cloths and a really small extra blanket there. I even have one for myself, mama things. I have a tinted chapstick in here. I actually have some Kleenex for myself and a snack right now, kind of rotates. And then another thing that is really important to keep me organized is to have clean pacifiers and to know where they are and to find them quickly. So I typically have two pacifiers when I'm on the go with baby and the first one is hanging from the outside here in this little pacifier holder with a pacifier clip that's the one that I keep ready and easy access and then I always like to have a backup just in case it falls on the ground or something so I have one of these little bubble holders and typically have an extra pacifier in here it looks like I need to restock this but Speaking of restocking, I want to show you what I do to restock my diaper bag and keep that as efficient as possible as well. Sometimes it can be a little bit of a pain making sure your diaper bag is always stocked. If you have it organized to start with, it doesn't always stay that way. So I keep a bin here in the mudroom as well of all of the stuff that I might need to restock the diaper bag. So a couple of examples here. I have an extra hand sanitizer in case I run out. I have a couple of different wipe things. Actually, these are hand sanitizer wipes. I have pacifier and bottle wipes. I have toy table and high chair wipes. I keep these in my diaper bag. Again, in case I drop a pacifier, even though I keep a couple or a toy on the ground or we go somewhere where Owen's gonna be eating and I wanna wipe off that surface. We also always have little poop bags. These are great for if there is a blowout and maybe you're at somebody's house and you don't wanna throw away a stinky diaper in their house. They are doggy poop bags. They're lavender scented, so they actually do contain that scent really well. And I also like having them in case Owen does have a little accident or something and he needs a change of outfit. I can put the dirty outfit in here and then put it in my diaper bag without everything else getting dirty. But there are a few other things in here, but it's just helpful to have this restock station right in the mudroom where I store the diaper bag so I can keep it stocked all the time. A stroller organizer is a must for any mom on the go. And for me, I wanted to have not just your basic stroller organizer, but I wanted to have one that was especially organized and also multifunctional. And when I found this one by Mamantra, I was blown away by how different it is and how functional it is. If you can tell, it looks like a purse because it also is a purse. It's a stroller organizer, but once you pop off these stroller clips, it has a longer strap that you can just throw over your shoulder and nobody will know that it was a stroller organizer. They'll just think it is a chic, beautiful purse. It's made with vegan leather, so it really is high quality and beautiful. Jim even said so when he opened it up from the package for me. He was shocked at how high quality it was and thought it was a really cool invention, as do I. You guys know that it is difficult to carry a water bottle and a phone and your sunglasses and your keys and all of that stuff or deal with a purse and a stroller organizer. This one is full of all of the pockets you could ever imagine. It has one up here on the front that you can see. It has another one, this one at the front. I used to keep some change because this summer when we first moved to the neighborhood, we noticed that there was a lemonade stand and unfortunately they did not accept Venmo. So we couldn't get lemonade. So now I always keep some change in this front pocket. 
There are two other pockets here on the front where they go all the way across. They're two separate pockets. There's another one on the back a spot to keep your keys, which is really handy. These clips are awesome. If you ever lose your keys in your purse with one of these clips, you will not lose it anymore. Six pockets in the inside. Two insulated and water resistant spots for water or maybe your morning coffee if you're going on a morning stroll. I keep my sunglasses in here. Really everything I could need while I'm going on a walk and then taking the stroller organizer out with me as my purse as well. So make sure to check out the description box. I will have a link to my mantra and I want to thank them for sending this to me because I'm in love with it and I'm sharing it because I think you guys will be too. It is a high quality product and I want you to check it out and make sure you look because they also have different colors. If you aren't into the brown leather, they also have black with different hardware as well. So there's a silver if you want black and silver or if you're like me and you like the gold, there's also black and gold. So check that description box below. When it comes to on the go, especially with breast milk, I have a couple of things that I have found to be very helpful. Number one, when I'm traveling, traveling, like I've taken trips away overnight, I like using this little bottle brush pump part cleaner. It is everything you could need in this really small compact container. It has a couple of different brush heads. It actually, you know, extends and you can make a full size brush with this. It has an extra little bottle here for any dish soap that you use or bottle soap. It even has like a small little tip and it's super compact. And once you pull everything out, it can be used as a drying rack. So truly all in one, this is excellent, excellent for travel. Another thing I do because I am pumping and breastfeeding is to keep a couple of containers ready to go for traveling with breast milk. I bought a bag that freezes, so I keep it in the freezer ready to go, and it is the perfect size to fit into my diaper bag, and it fits probably two or maybe three bottles depending on the size of your bottles. For me, it fits a bottle and it fits the two portable pumps that I have, so if I pump milk, I can fit those two things of milk in there with an additional bottle, and that is all I need. I had a larger one before and it did not fit into my diaper bag. So I like having this as well as a little bag of all of my pump stuff ready to go. It has some pump wipes in it, extra pump parts, milk storage bags, as well as a pen so I can label everything and keep that organized for when I bring it home. If you are a pumping or breastfeeding mom, I have a few extra tips for you on milk storage. Now, the biggest thing that has been a huge help to me is having a mini fridge. Now, just to preface this, I did not go out and buy a separate mini fridge specifically for storing breast milk. I happened to have one from work and once we moved to work at home, I brought my mini fridge home with me and thought this was a great solution for it. My brother and sister-in-law actually do the same thing because they have a two-story house as well with a nursery upstairs and their bedroom upstairs. It was so nice and still is so nice to have a spot to have milk stored up by the nursery so I don't have to go up and downstairs if I pump or need to make him a bottle. And it's also nice just to have it kind of like separated. It's just the milk fridge, that's all that goes in there. And what I do is I actually use this whiteboard marker here and whenever I fill up a bottle of milk, I put the date on top so I know when the milk expires and what's the most recent milk to use and just kind of organize it that way. And that helps a lot for our nanny because she gives Owen bottles throughout the day. And the wiper marker works great. When she washes the bottles, it washes right off. I also have some milk storage guidelines that even though it is pretty basic, like the 444 rule, if you're familiar with that, if you are a pumping or breastfeeding mom, I love this magnet. It came with the My Milk Breast Milk Storage containers, which I will show you in a second because I want to talk some more about freezing milk and how I do that. This has been one of my new go-tos when it comes to storing a smaller amount of my frozen breast milk. Oftentimes I don't need a full six ounces or one of those breast milk storage bags. So this solution, this My Milk 
by Super Cubes has really helped. They are half ounce portions in a silicone mold that fits really in any bottle size, whether it is a wide mouth or a narrow, it should slide right in there. And what I really like about this is how sturdy it is. If you know me and you know how much I love Super Cubes, they have reinforced silicone, so it is really easy to hold without spilling that liquid gold because I hate wasting my milk. I hate spilling my milk. I hate when it goes bad. So these half ounce portions are absolutely perfect. And even the lid, I was really impressed with when I popped the lid on, I was so nervous when I clicked it into place that it was gonna jostle the silicone and milk was gonna spill everywhere, but I have not had that issue. So this is a great solution if you wanna freeze just smaller portions and you're looking for something that's really high quality. Then I store all of my frozen breast milk that is in the storage breast milk bags into a larger gallon freezer bag into these breast milk bricks they're called. You can perfectly fit all of the storage bags into a gallon size freezer Ziploc and I organize them by date range. I then label the outside of the Ziploc with the date range of all of the different milks that are in that Ziploc as well as the approximate number of ounces. That way when I'm maybe leaving for a trip where I'm gone from my baby for multiple days at a time, I know quickly about how many ounces I have stored up without having to calculate each individual bag. Then with the My Milk storage containers that I showed you, I just keep like a little stasher bag down in the freezer and put the date that the milk was frozen. And then I have these individual cubes. These are perfect if I just need an extra half ounce or I can pop these into like oatmeal or anything else that I'm making for Owen. Toy organization is a whole thing in itself. I'm actually going to do a separate toy organizing video. And I do recognize that for babies, it's a lot easier just because inevitably a baby is going to have less toys than a toddler or even an older child because over time they do accumulate. But in general, I like to have a toy rotation system and have a lot of his toys stored away that he doesn't see or access very often. That way when you pull out new toys, it's new and exciting and he doesn't get bored with the same things over and over again. So we keep a few things out in the living room on his play mat and then we have some backups that are still relevant toys for him in this little storage cabinet in our living room in some baskets here. And then we use that to rotate and then we have even more of his toys actually stored away, away that we're not accessing at all right now. One thing I would recommend is Love Every Toys. They basically take care of that rotation for you. They send you age appropriate toys and that's a lot of the toys that we have. So we store his Love Every kit either in the bin here in the living room or some of it on the play mat with him as well as some other toys that we've gotten from friends or family or purchased ourselves. But stay tuned for that full toy organizing video because I have a lot more to share. Another thing I wanna mention while we are here in the living room Room is a great way to stay organized with baby is to have diaper caddies everywhere. Wherever you might change your baby, have a diaper caddy, a changing station. It's just going to make your life a lot easier. I'm not a big fan of duplicates and having a lot of extras of stuff. I like to streamline my life, but in this case, it is so beneficial to have duplicates. So we have three main changing stations. I have one of course in his bedroom. He has a changing table there with a diaper caddy with some diapers and diaper paste and all of that that I could need as well as here in the living room we have a little caddy here so we can change him because we're down here playing with him all the time. So we have all the necessities here as well as in our bedroom. I want to show you that one. You'll see I have a three-tiered cart in my bedroom. This thing was very, very helpful when we had a newborn and Owen was sleeping in our bedroom. I needed to have stuff to change him here in our bedroom for middle of the night diaper changes and because this is a spot we were spending a lot of time with him. Even now that he's moved to his nursery and sleeps in his crib overnight, we still do the occasional diaper change here, but also find that it's helpful to have a couple of necessities. We bathe him in our room, so I have like lotion when he first comes out of the bath. I still have the typical diapers and wipes. I have a little changing pad that I use if we need to change him on our bed. Um, let's see, like a nail file, all of that stuff. But as a newborn, it was 
so full with all of the necessities even snacks for myself i had in there but this is the diaper changing station that we have in our bedroom and it is number three of the house whether you have a consistent nanny or babysitter or you are rotating through different people i like to have a little babysitter cheat sheet i keep ours here in the mudroom so it has all of our information at the front i don't want to show all of it but it has like our address in case there was an emergency it has owen's date of birth if there are any known allergies i actually laminated it and then use a marker on top of it so I can wipe it off with his current weight and his height just in case again there's an emergency and they need to know his height and weight. I have like our Wi-Fi information for a babysitter, my cell phone, Jim's cell phone, emergency contacts like um, our parents phone numbers as well as our pediatrician's name and phone number. I have a little map here because we have some walking trails near our neighborhood. So if the nanny or babysitter wanted to take Owen for a walk, I also have some things that we like to follow. We follow wake windows when it comes to Owen and kind of his schedule. So I have all of his wake windows listed out here by number of months and how old he is. We are starting baby sign language. So I even have some of our favorite baby signs that we're trying to work on on the back here. And I just keep this here in the mudroom. And that hopefully helps answer any extra questions that the babysitter or nanny might have. And again, especially helps if there were to be an emergency situation. I do have a lot of other content on baby organization, nursery organization, a full tour of Owen's nursery. I have one where I was specifically organizing his closet. So if you want to see the details of all of the bins in his closet and how I organized that, I will also link that stuff in the description box. But there's one thing I wanted to share that I found to be very helpful, although all of it has worked actually pretty well for us. The one thing that I love and suggest for anyone who has a baby or young kids is a bin that is specifically for their clothing that's too small. Anytime I toss Owen in an outfit and it is too small on him, it goes in that bin when the bin's full, then I can take it elsewhere and put it with our longer term storage. But it's nice to have it here so I don't have to go to the basement to store stuff. Maybe you store stuff in your garage. That way I can just put it right here every single time an article of clothing does not fit him. And it's worked very well for us. For dresser organization, I've kept it pretty simple. I don't have a lot of specific organizers that are meant for babies. I just use the same method that I use for my clothing. So file folding and some drawer dividers. That's really all he needs. If you are curious the way that I've organized his dresser and how I separate what goes in which drawer, that is mentioned in my nursery tour video. So I will link that again if you wanna watch it. But he has his clothing that he uses in his size, the top drawer, again, file folded. You can probably see it here. And that's really all it needs. You don't need to do anything crazy. I know there are specific organizers for babies that are great. A lot of people like the Ikea one. That's a little fabric organizer that has some smaller compartments. But with the drawer dividers, you can move them and customize them to the size of your clothing. <laughs> for joining us for today's baby organizing video. We had a lot of fun. I hope that you found some organizing tips that you and your family might use for your baby. This guy seems hungry, so I am going to feed him. If you liked today's video, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And until next time, I will see you guys later.